more resolute that it is, it is inevitable that we must advance to build a better world, a struggle to advance humanity, and a struggle to build socialism against the greed of the failed, rotten capitalist system. Any strike anywhere against the tentacles of US imperialism and colonialism is a step towards freedom everywhere. Hi, this is Zoe Alexander with People's Dispatch. I'm here at Constitution Hill in Johannesburg, South Africa, where the third international conference of Dilemmas of Humanity has just wrapped up five days of very, very intense debate and discussion. Um, it was, there were over 500 participants from over 70 countries, over 120 organizations. Uh, there was a particular emphasis throughout this conference on, of course, the Palestinian struggle. Throughout the five days of the conference, Israel launched several very, very brutal offenses on the Palestinian population within Gaza. <laughs> Our children now is writing Palestine with their blood. They are calling for human beings in the world. They are calling you, and I know very well you will protect us also. But we will go on fighting. Uh, there were six different panel discussions on themes like popular democracy, the environmental crisis, anti-imperialism and national sovereignty, and other such topics. There were also uh, topical seminars where participants were able to discuss uh, very important issues regarding human dignity, uh, material and social well-being, housing, uh, arts and culture, communications, and other topics. So we're here at the Lemmas of Humanity conference, the third conference. Uh, we're discussing different uh, paths towards building a socialist future and from the experiences that everybody has from, from the different uh, continents and regions uh, that they uh, participated. It's been very interesting, especially uh, you know, uh, talking about democracy, popular democracy, the meaning of democracy, how democracy uh, for us must mean uh, something beyond the liberal democracy and something that is re more revolutionary. Only revolutionary democracy uh, can be popular democracy. We are meeting today to discuss how to pass your class struggle and a very difficult condition where the working class all over the world continues to be the victim of continuous, deep, systematic and structural crisis of capitalism and imperialism. This conference discussed the problems of humanity. It is now condensed in Gaza. The people are dying because they want to defend their land. They want to have freedom. This conference discussed the issues of freedom and socialism. We dream of socialism. There was a declaration that came out at the end of this conference and it called for a uh, organizations and movements and trade unions, left parties that were participating in this historic conference to continue fighting against the forces of imperialism, of capitalism in their respective contexts. As revolutionaries, as socialists, we cannot leave a vacuum. We do not have the privilege to live any space unoccupied by our actions our ideology, our practice. We build international solidarity with working class formations, progressive social movements, community organization and, revolution, and revolutionary political parties. We do this because we are convinced that socialism cannot be built in one country. So this conference was marked, uh, it was characterized by very, very strong declarations of support with the Palestinian free people. They have their cluster bombs. 
white phosphorus, which is not allowed. And nobody from the governments, from the NATO, from the reaction in the Arab world. I call upon you in your rallies, in your discussions, to take the truth about this conflict, to tell your people there are other people who are starving now. We are starving for freedom. So this Nakba is repeated again. Now they want to transfer us from our land. They are calling for the Palestinians in Gaza to live or die. They don't know the people in Gaza. What they have always in mind. We stay on our land until death or freedom. With all of the dilemmas that are facing humanity today, hunger, unemployment, uh, poverty, so many other scourges that uh, people across the world are contending with today, uh, conference participants were in agreement that socialism is the only way to take humanity forward, to save the planet, to save humanity, and to build a better future for all.